party over three level diamond colors, so I used this only has pale drawer to grow in it, uh, which is like two level bonds, I think. Um, I posted some pictures on Facebook with my brew day. It was literally the color of that. It was that color. Um, when I was running off of my grains, I pulled about a gallon of my first runnings, brought it into the kitchen, fired up the stove, let it simmer. I was thinking, boil it down, get a nice syrup going, and did that, got down to where there was maybe an eighth of an inch in the bottom of the kettle, and it had barely changed color. So I added two cups of sugar and um, let it caramel, create a caramel, and cooked it till it was almost black. I brought it out, added it to my 10 gallon batch, and it didn't even change the color of it. <laughs> so at that point, I was like, John is evil. <laughs> um, so I transferred it to my fermenter, pitched my yeast, let the bulk of fermentation get done. I added 12 ounces of full flavor, not black strap molasses. Um, and I was hoping that that would do it, but it, that also made just a slight incremental change in the color. So uh, a few days later, I took a kilogram of sugar, a fourth of a cup of dry malt extract, and like a cup of water, just enough to make a syrup to invert the sugar. Once that was done, I again boiled it to a caramel and let it go till that was black. Or till it was black. Um, the caramel tasted awesome, and when I added it to the fermenter, it looked like the, the beer changed color, it was very happy, and I had a sample <laughs> like a week later, and it was that color. <laughs> so, um, but the, the flavor was about where I wanted it with the stout, uh, with the molasses and the the dark caramel, um, I got some of those nice uh, roasty, similar to roasty flavors. Um, and then a, a week later, while I was bottling, uh, I tasted it again and a lot of those roasted flavors weren't there anymore. And then um, I opened up a, a bottle to check for carbonation yesterday. And there was no carbonation, even less than what you see in your glass. Uh, so I got a hold of somebody with a carbonator cap, and I still had five gallons that I hadn't taken out of the fermenter yet. Um, and filled up a two liter bottle, hooked up the carbonator cap, and did not get enough carbonation in my opinion. There's a little bit, but uh, enjoy. Hope you like it. Happy that it's similar in color. Right, you want to go ahead. Um, so yeah, that's my amber soap. Um, and, uh, <laughs> so yeah, you know, obviously, you know, what we had to do. Um, my whole process was to basically add coloring throughout the, the process of brewing and fermenting as I felt I needed it. I had a number of things, I had a number of options. Um, I mashed with dark, super dark roast uh, uh, coffee. And it's just all, it's just all, mm, all awesome. um, and I mashed uh, coffee beans, like coarsely ground, and then I mashed with uh, black rice, uh, forbidden rice. It's called it's super super dip black. Well, that's got to do something. <laughs> it did a little. Um, and I also had. So I thought that the that the bitterness of the directly roasted coffee beans would help make kind of a roasted malt or a Kind of uh, flavor, 
the thought that adding cocoa nibs uh, would, would help with the chocolate malt replicant. And then, so I cocoa nibs in the boil and black rice and coffee in the mash. And then I had some uh, uh, black forest tea that I used in the boil because it kind of has a black cherry flavor. I didn't want anything too black tea, super bitter, really harsh. So I just wanted that kind of black cherry in the stove, whatever it was. Um, and then, as I was running it out into the carboy, I noticed it was not entirely dark. Um, <laughs> I let it ferment. Um, oh, and I did a, an extended boil, tried to caramelize it. and various other steps of attempting to add color along the way, I just realized that maybe it's more valuable to just not make it black and maybe just make it uh, taste already. <laughs> so uh, I decided I was going to go more for the flavor and, and less for the color. So that's, and I too agree with it. It's pretty much the same color. <laughs> and it was I thought for sure with, with I had I know, nine various things that that light color and that light color and that light color and that light color. And that light color. And it didn't. After a certain point, everything just stopped adding color. Oh, that's that's awesome. Awesome. And I was very adamant about I'm not going to use roasted wheat. I'm not going to use. That's cool, you guys didn't do roasted. You could. I'm not. But. Yeah, and I don't want to use any dark grains of oak. And I used uh, caramel. Or no, I used uh, dark sugar. You put a lot of different. Yeah. But it's still just. What was it for? After a while, I just said, after, I just had a beer. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to pour out whatever. I know you only have a little bit left, but we'll pour out some A's and some B's. We'll give the judges like a solid 10 to 15 minutes of the rock. I, I took an original gravity, but with all the molasses and the whole kilogram of sugar and the whole family, I didn't bother with the wine all the uh, 1061 to 1013 uh, or 12. And last week I dubbed it my incognito stone since it's well, not black. <laughs> <laughs> nice proud of you.